15 minutes, 15. 2 past 40 seconds into the flight of Starship 33 Raptor engines powering the first stage. Power and telemetry nominal. We heard power and telemetry nominal call out. We're heading down the lane over the Belgian Mexico. Starship is through the period of greatest stress on the way to space. Now the next major event is hot staging in just over 90 seconds from now. To get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of the Raptor engines. Flames holding the two stages together will release, and the Starship's second stage will ignite its engines. The Starship will then separate from the Super Heavy booster and head to space. And at the same time, the three engines that are still firing on Super Heavy will flip the booster around. Two more engines will ignite to the boost back burn, putting the first stage on path for a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Engine power continues to look nominal on 33 Raptor engines. We're about to shut down the first stage and perform staging. Let's watch and listen. We have our position of Houston Signal, Houston, and New Orleans. Booster engine cut off. Stage separation. Familiar terminology there. 
so far today has been incredibly successful even with the rud of the super heavy booster this is amazing primary objective of the booster today to get to hot staging to get ship on its way to orbit it did that admirably yeah we definitely asked our ship trajectory nominal all right great news there that trajectory trajectory for ship yeah, is nominal once again, Starship's second stage is firing those engines, and as you just heard, everything's looking good. Now, for the ship, we uh, wanted it to survive hot staging, which, as you can see there by that little dot on your screen, it did. Uh, we also want to uh, basically demonstrate that the successful startup of, that, uh, of those engines, demonstrating controlled ascent, which is what it's doing right now, um, and eventually orbital insertion. Uh, we are hoping to basically send this around the Earth, and if it makes it this far, splash down in the Pacific Ocean um, a couple hundred miles north of Hawaii. Now, if we get that far, like, all of that sounds great. Secondary objectives for ship, again, continuing to gather engine data and about its health, performance. Not all um, chamber pressures. Great news there. That tells us that the chamber pressures inside of the starship again that's that small dot on your screen the basically the propellant um, pressures in the ship are looking good yeah the bottom right corner of your screen you can see uh, essentially a, a user interface showing us which engines are lit so the three center sea level raptor engines on ship are gimbling engines the three outer engines in the triangle the larger ones are raptor vacuum engines all of them continuing to file fire nominally. So they're at the pressures that we expect to try to get uh, into our target trajectory today. Yeah. And we're not targeting orbit today. We're targeting almost orbit today. Um, that's very intentional as part of the mission design. The goal is to get to a thrust profile similar to what we would need for orbit, but also and to get to the energy levels future. that the ship would need to dissipate for re-entry and so we're actually going in a suborbital trajectory today but that trajectory will get us to the energy levels that we need at re-entry where we can really stress that heat shield and get valuable data on re-entry and those calls that we are still on a nominal trajectory here and seeing nominal pressures means that we have a really good shot of hitting our target orbit yeah now, if the booster had survived, uh, we would be uh, around the time where it would be uh, getting ready to land, performing its uh, re-entry, but it unfortunately did not survive. Uh, that being said, that's okay. It survived seven okay. seconds after uh, hot staging, so we're going to take that data and improve the hot staging sequence and, and probably improve the hardware itself uh, for the next flight.